Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? It's Trey TV. I'm back with another video, man. So check this out. I just got to clear the air a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because we got a lot of Canelo uh, haters in the building, you know what I'm saying? We got Canelo fans, but we got a lot of Canelo haters, a lot of Canelo critics. Everybody just think they know Canelo, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got an opinion on what he should do, who he should fight. Oh, he need to fight Benavidez. Oh, he don't fight enough black fighters. Oh, he don't fight this. He don't fight that. Man, keep your mouth shut, man. Everybody who got something to say about Canelo's career don't know nothing about boxing. I'm going to say that again. Everybody that has something to say about Canelo's career, negatively speaking, don't know anything about boxing. Yeah, he took a loss against Floyd. Yeah, he took a loss against Bivol, but let's break those fights down initially. When he fought Floyd Mayweather, and this is just a disclaimer, I ain't making no excuses, but the only reason he lost or the only why you could possibly say that's unbiased was that he fought the best. That just is what it is. You're going to come short sometime when you fight the best. You're going to come up short. That's just what it is. When he fought Bivol, a lot of people didn't know Bivol, you know what I'm saying? But I know who he was. Canelo knew who he was. And he went up another weight class, a weight class that he was not familiar with, and fought a champion, number one at 175. But a lot of people negate that because Bivol doesn't have a lot of popularity. He ain't this, he ain't that. He wasn't a pay-per-view star, but he's still number one, and he still put in the same work that just... Just the same with these fighters that's on pay-per-view now. Tank Davis, Shakur Stevenson, and all those type of fighters. Bivol put in the same amount of work. So y'all got to stop discrediting this man for who he's fighting. Because I know nine times out of... No, I know ten times out of ten, y'all can't hang in there with Bivol. For sure can't hang in there with Floyd. And for sure can't hang in there with Canelo. Y'all doing all that Twitter beefing and all that Facebook typing. But now one of y'all still foot in there with Canelo. You know what I'm saying? But either than that, at the end of the day, Canelo don't got to fight nobody that y'all want him to fight. Canelo deserves, I'm going I'm to I'm say this, I'm going to make this clear. Canelo can fight whoever he wants to fight at this point of his career. Now, I wouldn't be saying the same thing if this is before he fought Cotto, Amir Khan, Austin Trout, guys like that to build his resume, Triple G, stuff like that. But now in his career, he has built up enough status in the sport of boxing. First of all, he's making 50 mil a fight. Why would he go and fight someone very, very dangerous or, or not even just dangerous, somebody that could possibly pose a threat? If he don't want to, he don't have to do that. That's for the younger generation. That's for the younger guys, Terrence Crawford, you know, Shakur Stevenson, um, Tank Davis. That's for them guys. Um, Monguina, you know what I'm saying? All those other guys. At the end of the day, he's built up so much status to the point to where it's not even funny. He got a better resume than Floyd right now. He has the best resume in the sport of boxing right now based on what he's done. Kato Plant, Charlo, Austin Trial, Cotto, Floyd, Bivol. I mean, I can go on and on. And the crazy part about it is y'all want him to fight Benavidez so bad. Y'all want him to fight a guy who hasn't even fought more than two champions. Let that sink in for a second. You got pretty much the best in boxing, resume-wise, skill-wise, power-wise, IQ-wise, footwork, lateral movement. Y'all want Benavidez to fight a guy like this, but then you look at Benavidez's resume, the best guy that he has on his resume is Caleb Plant. And what did Canelo do to him? Stopped him. He done something that Benavidez could not do. You know what I'm saying? When you break down the the statistics on what Canelo does to fighters versus Benavidez, 
it's not even comparable. You know what I'm saying? Canelo is a pay-per-view star. He's built up status in his game. He didn't fight 50 bombs. Majority of his wins and majority of his fights are championship fighters. He done fought almost 20 championship fighters plus, 25 championship fighters plus. Now, of course, we can critique his early career, but at the same time, we can also critique Floyd Mayweather's career. We can also critique Muhammad Ali's career. We can also critique Mike Tyson's career. Majority of their fights, the first 15 fights, nobody knew. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knew. And that just that's 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 just a part of the sport. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you're gonna fight guys with no names. You're gonna fight bombs. But at the end of the day, that's the beauty of it. You know what I'm saying? Because when you fight those no name guys that have nothing to lose but everything to gain, those are the most dangerous fighters that you will ever fight. You know what I'm saying? Simply because at the end of the day, those guys are willing to take risks, throw them bombs, dive in there because they don't have anything else to lose. You know what I'm saying? When it's all said and done, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, like I said before, Canelo has done everything. He's fought the best. He's been in there with the best. What has Benavidez done? Absolutely nothing. So at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you know what I'm saying? He has to do more. He has to do more before he even think about stepping in the ring with Canelo Saul Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? It's levels to this game. It's always going to be levels. You got to pay to play, and you got to pay your dues. Canelo has paid his dues. The list goes on and on on the fighters that he's beat. Benavidez, on the, on the other hand, his whole stats... His his resume is limited. We all know that, especially for the likes of Canelo. But like I said, at the end of the day, Canelo's the king. He's the pound for pound champ in boxing right now, making fifty million to fight. I mean, can nobody really argue with that? You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's Trade TV, man. We out.